Good morning, folks. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Joe. Today we're here at Campus Ford in uh, Waynesboro, Virginia. Just checking out these two Integras over here. Just kidding. We're here for a meeting of the Mustangs and a chance to see the brand new 2024 Ford Mustang. I think there's a few of them here. So we're going to walk around a bit, try to take some photos, and see what the new Mustang looks like in person. Let's go check it out. Taylor's starting a Ford Mustang bullet, showing how to do it. She's slowly learning how to drive stick and doing a very good job. Well, let me start if the door is open. Yeah, so pull it out of gear. Pull it out of gear? Yep. What gear is it in? I uh, can't it's, tell. it's probably in first, so pull it down. Are you in neutral? Yeah. Okay, so now you can start it. So put on the clutch and the brake. Yeah. See how the thing's flashing? Yeah. So turn it on, push it. Push it? Yep. one. This is a Stita factory car that was bought from Stita themselves. Maybe one day. Well, here is the new 2024 Mustang GT. I really like it with these blue Brembos. I'm not sure about it on the color, but it's an interesting looking car, for sure. Let's take a look at the interior here. This is like an automatic one. <sighs> tell me guys, tell me what you think in the comments. Do you like the screen? Big screen, for sure. Well, it's a pretty cool car. I don't know, I don't know if I'm sold on it compared to the uh, last generation, but we'll take a look at the dark horse here when the crowd disperses a bit, because that one might do it for me. Alright, here we are with the new 2024 Ford Mustang Dark Horse. I think this is a much smarter looking car than the base GT. I really like, honestly I wasn't sold on it uh, in photos, but I think the black mask actually suits the car really well. This one's in white with handling package, and I think also an appearance package. I think those blue Brembos really pop on the car, so I'm glad that's an important part. And uh, the interior on this one includes some factory cars, which is nice, but it's basically the same interior as the stock GT. It's all right. I think honestly, I prefer the older interior more. I think the uh, some of the materials that they use on this one are just a little strange, especially the stop start button. I'm just not a fan of, but those are little nitpicky details. But all in all, this is a very nice looking car. Got those tires. The 
Here's the interior of the dark horse. I think those Recaros are very smart looking. The shift knob is very interesting to me in this car. It almost looks like an aftermarket piece, but I suppose that's the factory one. And the e-brake in this, <laughs> to me, looks like an erector set or a transformer. So interesting design there. That wheel is very nice though, I like that a lot. Still not sold on that giant screen, but I guess that's the future, right? Are you recording me? I still don't like Cause you're, you're saying shocking truths right now, which is that you didn't like the Shelby when you first saw it's not it. That I didn't like it. It just like wasn't my favorite. Over the over what the 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 normal Mustang GT. Yeah. Wild, wild out here, folks. Joseph, the, I still don't this like is an lines, avid Mustang like lover. This. She didn't even like. It's the not that king I didn't of the like it. It just <laughs> it had to grow on me. Okay, all right, had to grow on her. Here's another cool one, a Celine Fox body. This kit is very of the era, and I really like it, especially that whale tail spoiler. It almost makes it look like one of those old Ford Escorts. And uh, I'm kind of a sucker for the um, old British Fords, so I'm all about it. Okay, comment section. It's time to flame the Maki. -E. Is it a Mustang? I've never driven one, but I'd like to one day. Where'd the engine go? Alright y'all, I think it's gonna be a wrap on this video. Let me know down in the comments below. What do you think of the brand new 2024 Ford Mustang? It's growing on me, for sure. Thanks so much for watching. If you subscribe to me a whole lot, be sure to leave a like on this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.